There has been one immunotherapy FDA approved for the treatment of castration resistant metastatic prostate cancer, and that is Cipulose LT or Provenge. This medication is sometimes somewhat complicated to give. It involves um, apheresis or the withdrawal of uh, white blood cells from an individual with prostate cancer. Those are sent off and processed and then reinfused back into that individual after they're educated. So what we mean by this is that we are exposing a man's white blood cells or the immune cells that we've withdrawn from him to a prostate cancer antigen or prostate acid phosphatase, a protein that is found on the surface of most prostate cancer cells. So the white blood cells or immune cells from this individual man see what a prostate acid phosphatase or PAP molecule looks like and they get very revved up about it. They are reinfused back into the individual and because they're so revved up against this protein on the surface of prostate cancer, they attack it. And the goal is that we want it to attack it to the extent that they kill as many cells as possible. So Cipulose LT is the first and only immunotherapy that is currently approved. It's important to recognize that this is approved only for men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer, so a, a fairly advanced prostate cancer. But men who receive treatment with immunotherapy must be asymptomatic, meaning they can't have a, a lot of symptoms, pain problems, or other issues related to their prostate cancer um, because they must have a life expectancy of at least six months. And a lot of times when men have very out of control symptoms, it may be because their prostate cancer is so advanced that they may not have six months to live. Um, and so they also have to have what we call a, a long PSA doubling time. So the prostate cancer has to be growing at, a, at a, a relatively slow rate is the bottom line. The reason for this and the reason that we want to make sure that we give this medication only to people who have a fairly long, longer life expectancy is because these immunotherapies do not work immediately. They're not what we call cytotoxic medications. They don't uh, go into cells and cause them to explode and die immediately. They actually take a, a longer route, a slow process of educating the immune system to start a, a long-term battle with the prostate cancer. Um, and their peak effects, we think, don't come for some time. So we do want men to, to be sure to have a life expectancy that will allow that immunotherapy the chance to work.